in my first ayahuasca experience, I remember thinking about it as uh, as if uh, God like sat uh, on my eyeballs, basically, you know, and it's just kind of like, you know, and it was so beautiful and so intense. Uh, and one of the intense moments was a being that came very close, right right up to my face, staring me in the face. And it was uh, a kind of tattooed, uh, bejeweled being. It was, there was a kind of a, a stream of, of jewels over the uh, texture of the face or the, or the uh, uh, shape of the face. And it was continually changing, but you could tell it was one being. And it just came very close, and it seemed um, androgynous, you know. Uh, and also, it smiled. So it was a reflection of maybe it was my psychedelic higher self. This is always the question. Are we just seeing uh, another layer of ourselves? Or is this a being that came from another dimension and, you know, uh, is having an encounter with us? You know, at a certain level, uh, if, if we're connected with every other being and thing in the universe, you know, uh, I'm an extension of your consciousness, you're an extension of my consciousness, we're beings meeting each other. And uh, in the same way that uh, these other interdimensional beings could be. I mean, here we seem to be in the flesh. Uh, there, there's another kind of body that's showing up. Uh, you know, how separate from us they are, it's hard to say, you know. Um, I, I've always been interested in this whole thing because uh, Terence would talk a lot about the uh, the hyperdimensional elves and and things like that and self dribbling basketballs of uh, like Fabergé eggs and things and by golly I I see them too you know but I'm just not sure that they're outside of uh, who I am. You know, I'm not sure that I'm visiting another realm uh, that that we can all visit, uh, or whether it's an aspect of our own, you know, psyche uh, that is accessed. That's the delicious kind of conundrum that uh, psychedelic voyagers find themselves in. <laughs>